and I'm doing it for my daughter. I didn't, um, you know, I watched, I grew up watching martial arts movies and I always wanted the, the master key, the technique. Like there has to be like Bruce Lee can do a chop like this and it's like he doesn't have to be this massive guy. He just uses this technique. Yeah. What's the, what's the master technique that's like the ultimate dominating oh, technique? Tim, you want to show you? Yeah. I know it. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. What are you going to do to me? Don't do it. Get the fuck out. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. That's Bridges. <laughs> cool, coaxing a guy to give you head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, dude. Suck, suck. Me. Oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yo, get in my guard. Oh, you got us. <clears throat> it's just, it's You're just struggling. too much. I'm yeah. squeezing hard. Yeah. Ah! You have to squeeze hard. I'm fighting through it. I'm just kissing you through it. So when <laughs> I when so I found when I found jujitsu, I had this. I had the same. You know, a moment of a, a epiphany that Joe Rogan had, which is like, wow, here's something that actually works. You can train this and you'll be good at this and you can you can be physically in control of like a, some sort of situation or whatever. And then it's like years later, it took me years to realize that it's just gay. Uh, Mandel Nal Nalo mm -hmm. affirmed this, that the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is just gay. Yeah. Like striking's cool as shit mm -hmm. and Bra Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is just It's gay. Yeah, like, oh, roll around on a mat. And like, I'm tired of it. And I don't like the people that do it either. They're not, they're not funny. Their senses of humor are not funny. They're like, uh, they say, and they say shit like, um, uh, I dominate, I dominate dudes. Okay. Like not necessarily that brazenly. But yeah, that brazenly. They, like I had, I literally had somebody tell me, um, uh, so when I had, it, this is like barely exaggerating. I had a situation like this where the guy was coaching, he was coaching, he was like, so I get in and I get in, I can't even do it with a straight face. Like I cannot, I, I, I can't look at you in the eyes and say this. I'm not horny enough. <laughs> like, all right, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> in North. <laughs> fucking pussy, dude. Stop. Stop being a pussy, dude. I'm going to gain guard. on He you said, um, <laughs> from his, from top mount or something that he, uh, I just absolutely dominate from top mount. Like I smash from top mount and what I do like, and he said, and uh, this is, this is another thing that like many of these dudes will say, like, I just heard a clip of Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Alvarez saying it, where they say that they take your soul, mm. which is, is like, isn't that what they say when they fuck boys? Ha but having somebody say that in the, in a, in a, in the context of like physical contest, they take your soul. How? And the guy, he was like, um. Well, that's, that's just my style. Like I won't, I won't explode on you per se. They love saying that they'll take you into deep waters. Like you've heard Khabib say that. Yeah, that's whatever. He's foreign. He's dragging you down. But people, people love saying that they'll take you into deep waters. Like jujitsu guys, they will say this. Like regular around, like the fucking black local black belt. He'll be like, Yeah, well he'll take he'll take you into deep waters and then he'll he'll drown you down there. You'll be struggling. You won't know what to do. Like that type of stuff. Oh. And he's and uh, they say um. They say that the soul taking thing is like very disturbing. Where they're like, um, I won't necessarily explode on you per se, but I'll like, but I'll like, uh, I'll just get you. I'll like physically dominate you from a position, get you tired, and then I just take your soul. Like I take your soul. <laughs> I've heard that from multiple people. What do you say in various contexts? I just nod, I just nod and go, oh man, that's crazy. That's what I said. That's what I said. To the guy. I said, wow, that's crazy. Because it was crazy. I'm going to come. <laughs> Bro. Which, like, there's no... Um, Dude, you're, like, the hottest guy I've ever seen. I'm going to do this all over myself. This wasn't... I didn't want to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I just wanted to be gay. Was, I just <laughs> wanted... Now I want to come all over you, man. I wanted to be near you. I was looking for a guy that was going to say shit like that, and now all I can think about is all over myself. Mm -hmm. Honestly, dude, I'm going to come in my own hand and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then you just deck them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, this is this new style I'm working on. <laughs> then you're just like, this, what? And you're like, dude, I'm going to in my own hand, and I'm going to drink it. But I'm going to let it drip down the palm of my hand into my mouth from Please. a foot away. Okay. And he's like, whoa. And then you just fucking, you shoot him in the fucking chest. <laughs> I call it Chris Benoit style. Yeah. You shoot him with a bow and arrow. What's that beeping sound? Um, I think that's Trevor Noah's guys are here. <laughs>
Samuel, you talk about Brazilian jiu-jitsu in such a way. <laughs> and you're like, dude, you oh, he does talk about it in such a way. Let's do north to south. Yeah. I shoot him I shoot him with a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow baby yo this is like fucking like it's like new york city is such a big city and like <laughs> there are women everywhere right women on every corner and then we're gonna go ahead and say something crazy like what what did he say was the problem what the fuck is that beeping sound I think it's the camera. one of them the cannon do we were we talking about shai jinping again don't talk about that oh he's got agents everywhere I've never been more scared than when you than when you, XPG XPJ. There Did it I is. Stop it! Did I turn it off? Yep, I got it. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> Man, look these those, old Sony's are durable. Hand nailed floors, man. Those fucking things are nice. That's like the Bob V. <laughs> I think it's the other one. Is it the other one? Nah, it's fine. Where's the other hasn't, one? Hasn't had it. Where's the other one? No. <laughs> no. Don't do that. Okay. No, what, Sammy. What about Xi Jinping? Let's, well, let me let me finish my jujitsu rant. Yes. Because I have this I have this um one of my little fantasies that I think about is all the things that I would say to Joe Rogan if I was ever actually in an interview with him. Yes. Because I know I know how to perfectly like piss him off. Like I would be like um uh yeah yeah you know, Joe the. The thing, the reason why, the reason why kung fu isn't used in the UFC is because a kung fu grand, a kung fu sifu would literally kill you. Okay, they can't get that kind of clearance, the licensing. They can't have that kind of. Can you imagine what would happen if a sifu came down from the mountains and killed one of these fucking MMA fighters? Game over. Okay, be lawsuits. <laughs> Second of all, <clears throat> Jose Aldo would get killed by a sifu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How? With uh, the ten, uh, the ten chin claw technique. He'd put his hand around like this and pull his eyes out. That's not legal. You ten chin call? You can't get La, you know Las Vegas Sporting Commission. You can't get clearance no, for those types of techniques. The the <laughs> the brothers, the the Wu brothers. No, the fucking owners of the UFC brothers, the Italian. Oh, the Zufa. Yeah, the Zufa. Yeah, Val Valletto brothers or whatever yeah. the fuck they call them. They'd be they'd be furious. I mean, can you, what would Dana White's reaction be if uh, someone came in and did a crane a crane kick to the jugular? Sifu. A sifu. What is that? A sifu. It's a kung fu master. Okay. <laughs> like know. the white beard ones? Yes. Like the fucking j- like Kill old, Bill? old man, yeah. Sushi. <laughs> Chopetu. From Japan, right? And Joe, that, listen, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu is extremely effective yeah. on the streets for an un, an unskilled practitioner, okay? Hands down. I'll give you that. I'm, I'm going to admit that straight up. Okay. I appreciate that. I have no issue with that. The problem is when a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner or one of your MMA fighters, whatever, cro- uh, crosses paths with someone who practices white lo- a white lotus technique, okay, or or uh, tiger fist or any any one of the dozens of real real deal Chinese kung fu branches that is still studied today. Listen, these guys they're up in the mountains, they're practicing every day, way harder. Yeah, they're. They are. Than any of the They're UFC. getting their forearms burned with pots. <laughs> yes. Picking up the pots. They're carrying rice pots. They're sticking their hands in rice. They're doing... Catching flies with chopsticks. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they have they have no interest in material things. Like, they're the, they're the polar opposite of Conor McGregor. Like, they're not interested in selling whiskey. They're not interested in making a name for themselves. They're just up there being badasses, being the best fighters, the best combat people Not like Jeremy in the Stevens. World. No, 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 no. Not like opposite. No, these guys are these guys are not in the same category. Look, I get it that these I get it that your favorite your favorite UFC fighter, your well, Kamaru Usman or whatever. Like he would, of course, he would kick the ass of anybody at the local gym. Okay, if there was no if there was no biting or allowed. <laughs> but the yeah. uh, but when it comes to when it comes to somebody who practices real deal hardcore Chinese kung fu, there's no contest. Chinese kung fu wins every time. Every single time? Mm-hmm. So you're saying like uh, Co- Cody Cody Garbrandt mm-hmm. loses to? Master Wu. Master Wu. For example, sure. Or any one of his students. 
You see, because the funny thing is, man, mm -hmm. those gym videos mm -hmm. where they bring the Kung Fu master mm -hmm. to the common Middle Tennessee gym. I don't have to stand here and defend every every loss that anyone has ever suffered. Listen, those, uh, no, those are, that's not your job. Those but. are staged, obviously. <laughs> Hell, yeah, okay. Oh, he's like defending them for hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, yeah. dude, I saw him get his fucking head punched in. What you saw, you saw exactly what he wanted you to see. Was that a fake? Yeah. It was a deep fake. I think that fucking beep just called you a fake. Silly Billy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, Silly Billy. Yeah. The fucking Not piece for of long. No, no. <laughs> I'll show you. No, um, no, those Sony cameras have nothing to do with it. But doing that, like, it was light. <laughs> being. <laughs> Being like a fucking argumentative little know-it-all about every topic yes. that he's into, like bow hunting, like yes. whatever he says, just pick the opposite. He's yeah. like, you got to get one of these compound bows. You got compound uh, bows? I, uh, I don't know. I go traditional myself. Long bows are better myself. because, uh, and like you guys are going with graphite shaft arrows. There's no fucking way, dude. The wood, the the old balsa Listen, wood arrows are way. When better. it comes to those, there's no contest with a wrist slingshot. Get them from 200 yards away. Dude, Pow. my boy Pao Ling from the Philippines can knock branches off a fucking 300 foot tree with a fucking uh, like a metal ball bearing. Listen, Joe. I know you go to the gun range and you practice. You got the you use those rifles and everything. You like to play with that. But you ever see that Escrima stuff, Cali Escrima with the sticks? <laughs> <laughs> see that shit. That you would shit. fuck someone up, dude. Fucking fucking torch his ass. Because you pull that out, you're getting arrested. Yeah. That's Here's my you... impression of you with a gun. Boom! State trooper on your fucking forehead. Here's my impression of you with a gun. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Don't Steve-O yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Let's check out Jets Links. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here.